The Bombay High Court in its order dated April 12, 2024, upheld a family court order allowing custody of the minor daughter to the mother despite allegedly living in adultery. The High Court was of the view that adulterous behaviour of the respondent wife cannot become grounds for not granting her custody of the child. What was this case all about? Parties got married in February 2010 and a daughter was born to them in the year 2015. According to the wife, she was thrown out of the matrimonial home in 2019 and the custody of their minor daughter was not given to her. On the other hand, the husband claimed that the wife had left the home on her own will. Now, when the wife filed for interim custody of their child, the husband initiated a divorce petition on grounds of cruelty. The husband in this case is a 41-year-old IT professional and son of a former legislator in Maharashtra, while the wife is a doctor by profession. Now, let us understand what were the allegations by the wife. In January 2020, the wife had filed a complaint against her husband and also registered a case under the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act, accusing his family members of harassment. In February 2023, the family court granted interim custody of the minor daughter to the wife. The husband now sought a restoration plea, citing that the daughter was already residing with him since December 2019. However, his plea for interim custody was rejected by the family court. Now, this order was challenged by the husband in the Bombay High Court. We must inform you that the husband in this case was represented by notable women rights activists and senior advocate Indira Jaising, and she argued that the minor daughter was not comfortable in the mother's custody and it would not be proper for her to remain in the custody of a mother who allegedly had multiple affairs. Now, how did the Bombay High Court view this case and what did they have to say? A single judge bench of Justice Rajesh S. Patil rejected the claims of the husband and observed that adultery is in any case a ground for divorce However, the same cannot become a ground for not granting custody to the mother. Adding further, the judge said that in matters related to child custody, welfare of the child has to be paramount and since in this case the child is in a pre-puberty stage, the custody must remain with the mother. With regards to the adultery charges leveled by the husband, the court observed that though the, uh, though the alleged adulterous behaviour of the estranged wife were part of his plea before the family court which he had filed in 2020, the same were yet to be proven by leading evidence before the said court. To this, Justice Patel remarked that based on the allegations, the doubt as to whether the custody can be given to the wife will have no bearing. There is no doubt as held by various judgments that not being a good wife does not amount to not being a good mother. Justice Patel even cited a recent Delhi High Court judgment which had concluded that even though allegations are proved as regards to the wife's extramarital affair, as far as custody of the minor children is concerned, in a given case, the same can be granted to the wife. The High Court also noted that the respondent wife was residing close to the daughter's school along with the maternal grandmother. And uh, when they went through the academic record uh, of the child while she was staying with the mother, uh, they found that it was good and there was no reason to grant the custody of the girl to the father. Thus concluding the matter, the Bombay High Court upheld the custody of the child to the estranged wife and instructed the husband to hand over the daughter to the mother within two days. Now, what is our opinion in this case? Adultery has been decriminalized in India in 2018. However, the same still remains a valid ground for divorce. Now, sadly, child custody matters also become a part of divorce proceedings and the same are very much interrelated when the matters are in court. However, in recent years, the courts have kind of drawn a bifurcation between the moral obligation of a wife living in adultery versus her right to claim maintenance or to even get child custody. Though the law is very clear uh, as far as maintenance is concerned that it must be rejected to wives living in adultery, we still have some high courts granting maintenance to wives, pardoning the alleged charges, calling it occasional adultery. When it comes to child custody cases, surely the interest of the child must be supreme before deciding the case. But when genders are reversed, a great hands-on loving father is even denied access to meeting his own child only because he is 
either living with another woman after separation or he has remarried or perhaps he is not earning enough. The matrimonial laws and systems completely tilt towards women and in the end, the husbands realize how they are fighting a lost cause. By the time such alienated children grow up, they have been completely brainwashed by the custodial parent against the non-custodial ones, most often being the fathers. Overall, judgments and orders like these will encourage more women to leave their matrimonial homes, unilaterally walk away with children, live in adultery, yet harass their estranged husbands to foot their bills throughout their life without consenting to divorce. What are your thoughts on these existing laws? Please let us know in the comments below. You can hit that bell icon and subscribe to Voice from in India so that you can be updated with new videos as in how we broadcast them. You can also indulge in social media debates with us on our handles on X, Instagram, Telegram, Facebook. Uh, the ID is at the rate Voice for Men in. And you can read this particular case order along with all other articles on our website voiceformenindia.com. Thank you very much for watching. Namaste. Jai Hind. Thank you.